let me show you on this video how to create a doctor appointment form with job form. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to job form. My name is George. And on this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a doctor's appointment form. So ditch Excel, ditch Google Sheets, because this is going to be way more professional. You'll have a way for your patients to register an appointment via an online form. And you'll also be more organized because you will have a registration of all your patients appointments and their details. So let's get started. This is my job form panel. And the first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to get started with a template. So you don't need to start from scratch. You can go ahead and use a template. So let's go into templates and we'll find form templates. Let's click on this. And in this section, we have two ways of finding appointment forms. We can go ahead and search for doctor's appointment forms, or we can go into the appointment sections. So as of this video, there's 200 templates available that we can choose from. And the beauty about this is that you can modify these colors, the style, the elements, and you can remove and add the elements that you need for your purpose. Okay. So you'll find several templates available here that if I click on preview, we're able to actually fill this form out to find out if this is the right fit for us. So if you like the elements that this particular template has, we can go ahead and use this and add or remove elements. So it's super easy, all right? In this case, I want to show you this one, which is the online doctor's appointment form that we can start using right away. So it has the fields that we might need. We can go ahead and add or remove if we don't need some of these. And if we like it, we go ahead and use this template. And this is going to be super easy to modify everything. OK, so now we have the job form builder available here and we're able to select each one of these elements and modify them. Plus, we can also add more elements if we need. So if there's a question that we need to ask that's not available in this template, we can go ahead and do so by adding any one of these elements. OK, now the first thing we want to do is obviously modify the information that this template has, because this is just like a general template. So if I click on the title, for example, I can just go ahead and type in and it'll go ahead and modify it. Same thing goes with the description here. And if I need to remove it, I'll just click remove. Okay. Now for these elements, each one of these elements has a different option. So if I click on the gear icon, I'll have the options available for this particular element. So that means that, for example, this field label is a name. I can make this required. And in this case, I will make it required. Maybe you'll leave it optional, but in this case, we do need the name, for example. So we will make it required. And that means that they can submit this form without adding the name. Okay. And in this case, it's asking for the first name and last name, but we have options available here. If we also need to ask for the middle name, the prefix and the surfix. So it's up to you if you want to enable these or not. Okay. So in this case, I'll leave it as it is with the first name and last name, and we'll go ahead and get out of here. And then we also have this date of birth option. So we can go ahead and click on the properties and we can view here the format for this. So for example, the first thing I want to show you with this particular element is that you can change the date format. And this is really important because depending on the country that you are from, this might change. You might ask for the month, date and year or in different countries, it might be date, month, year. So it depends how you want to use this. Okay. You could go ahead and change it really easily right here. And there's also the option from year from and year two. That means that if you don't accept a year that is not available, for example, someone might not be more than hundred years old. So you would say 1924, for example, or year two, you'll say uh, you don't take patients that, that are less than five years old, for example, or four years, and it'll say 2020. So they can't select They'll, they'll have to select from this range right here. It's up to you if you want to use this option or not. Okay. You can leave it a blank if you like. And that same thing goes with all of these elements. Each one of these elements will have different settings depending on the element that you add. In this case, this doctor appointment form is asking for the name, date of birth, the gender. And in this case, these are the gender options right here. And you can just go ahead and click here and add more genders if you like. Okay. Phone number, address, email. Have you ever applied to a facility before to our facility before? Yes or no. And it's just these are details that will really help us be more organized. And when we come back and view these patients, we'll have all this information available. OK, which department would you like to get an appointment from? In this case, they'll type it in or you can add a drop down with the options that you have available. OK, which procedure do you want to make an appointment for? And again, we have the drop down here. You can remove the services that you don't provide or add the ones that you do provide. And it's just super easy. And this is the most important part about the appointment form, which is the actual way to do an appointment. 
Now for this, again, we're going to click on the properties button here in the gear icon, and we're going to get all the options available for this particular element. This is the one that that I would recommend that you take most attention to. <clears throat> This is the one that I think that you should pay most attention to because this is the whole point of this doctor's appointment form, okay? So these are the properties and we're gonna start with general, okay? So first off, you got your label, which is this right here. I can edit it straight from the form or edit it from here. I can change the alignment and I can make this required. Again, as I mentioned before with the name, since this is a doctor's appointment form and you don't want them to skip or submit the form without actually making an appointment, I would highly recommend that you make this required, okay? And then we have the availability, all right? Appointment slot durations. So depending on the time that you take to make your consultations is the one that I recommend that you select. There's also the custom option in case it takes longer, okay? But in this case, for example, I'll say 60 minutes, which is one hour per consultation. And then the intervals right here, which is you can select weekdays and select the days that you actually provide consultations. We can also create intervals right here. So right now it's 9 a.m to 5 p.m. But what if I want to remove the options here? For example, I'll say we're gonna stop 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Here we go. And we're gonna add another interval here, which would be, for example, we'll start again at 1 p.m. and we'll stop at 5 p.m., right? So that's, it's going to have a time slot in the, in the middle where we don't do consultations and they won't be able to make an appointment in that time, right? There's also the lunchtime option here. So it doesn't matter, for example, if you left it at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but you added a lunchtime. So there's two options to do this. You can do intervals here and add them, or you can add a lunchtime in the middle. Let's go ahead and remove this since we are using this format, but that's the other option available, okay? And then there's the limits. In the limits, we have a start and end date. So for the start date, we can set it to just leave it blank or set a date. For example, right now it's December 31st and we're gonna start at January, Monday 6th, okay? And the end date, we'll leave it open. Rolling days, that means that we can offer appointments up to a certain days in the future. So that means, for example, they won't be able to make an appointment uh, one month from now, a year from now. So in this case, I'm going to say 15 days from now, right? So that means here's the description for this. So number of days into the future. So 15 days from now, they will be able to make an appointment. And you can see here, it removed the highlight of these dates. So only 15 days available and weekdays, all right? Then we also have vacations and holidays. So you could add your vacations here, for example, Christmas vacations, New Year's, Thanksgiving, um, all the days that you want to add here. Just add them so they won't be able to make an appointment in those days, right? Maximum appointments per day. So in case you have a lot of appointments, but you can only take care of, for example, five uh, patients a day, well, we can say five. So if they make five appointments in a day, the day won't be available. It'll skip to the next day. So it will be blank for that day, right? And the minimum scheduling for notice. That means that, for example, right now, I'm able to make an appointment today, three hours from now. So you might not want to allow that because you need some time to prepare or maybe you're not available, you didn't get an appointment in five hours, so you go do some other things, okay? So you can set the amount of hours, and you can say, for example, uh, 24 hours. You can say, they won't be able to make an appointment today. They'll select, select from other days. And it gives you time to be more organized and just not get patients right away. So it's up to you if you wanna use that option there, okay? And then we have the advanced features. If you wanna make a one-on-one -on -one appointment, if you wanna do a group appointment, and you'll get the group appointment options, in this case, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Send reminder emails, which is always a good idea, so they remind the patients that they have an appointment, okay? So in this case, time to send in advance, and I'll say, for example, six hours in advance. You can select days, minutes, etc. right? And you can also add a reminder here, so you can do customized reminder email. That means that, for example, I'll also add another one for, for example, three days in advance. So they will get a, a reminder three days, from the appointment date and six hours from the appointment date. So, hey, remember, you got an appointment. Don't forget, be there, okay? So it's a really great option. Then you have your default time zone. In this case, this is the default time zone. You can go, to, go ahead and change it to your time zone. Lock the time zone. So that means that it, they won't have an option to select the time zone in this case. And again, date and format, depending on the country that you are in, you have the date formats available. The start week on, for example, could be Monday or Sunday. In this case, I'll select Monday. The time format, 24-hour format, or the AM, PM. 
here we go it just changed right here as i make the changes you'll see the life preview here right and you also also have the option to hide the field which would work with conditional logic but in this case we'll leave it as, as it is okay so now we have a form available with the appointment day feature we also have the option to add more elements so in this case let's just say that you like the elements that the template has but you also want to add more so let's just add for example a long text and we're going we're going to add it down here so long text we're going to drag it inside of here and let's just say that we want to add more questions in this case i'm going to set the field to ask if they're going to add additional information or comments and they have a big box a long text so they can add their details there okay you also have the option to add drop downs single choice multiple choice numbers times input tables star ratings etc and all that will be available here to add it really easily and make your form really customized okay now to end this form we also want to add a terms and conditions and this is just optional but i want to show you how to do it to do that we're going to go into widgets and in widgets we are going to search for terms you got terms and conditions which we're going to add over here at the end okay here we go now we have this terms and conditions that we can do our modifications again we have our details on the right and now we have a widgets settings and properties so let's go into widget settings here we go we got the general which is the label text what it says right here agree to terms and conditions you can see that we have this highlighted which is going to be the link okay and we're going to send them to the terms and conditions page so we're gonna, just going to say terms just to give you an example on your website if you have a terms and conditions you can send them over there okay default theme we're gonna be, we'll leave it as default the accepted text is going to be accepted in this case and let's go into the properties here we go you got the alignments labels etc for moving around all of this okay so now we have a terms and condition widget already ready okay so here we go we are good to go we have our form now we want to beautify it okay to beautify it we have options on the right this is the form designer we're going to click on this one and we have color schemes available so if you click on these they will automatically update the color scheme really easily by changing the background color the font color etc and depending on the branding for your business you can select the color scheme that fits your needs you can also customize each one of these colors by page color form color font color and change all of these aspects okay there's also themes available so if you want to use a theme that's pretty made pre-made right here we can do so and it'll apply it automatically to the form so here it go we can change it to this one and there's several themes available depending what you want to use okay so for example we're going to go back to color schemes i like this subtle colors for the form and we also have the style option to change the form width the alignments the spacing for the questions label width etc all available here and we also have the option to inject custom css to practically make the form look really different with css okay now in this case let's just say that we're good to go we have the elements available we like the style etc now we have the option to preview this form now once we preview this we're able to test it out and i'll just click on fill form for testing purposes it's going to automatically add the details here random details just for testing purposes and we're going to select for example the 8th and in this case we're not able to click on these other dates because remember we said 15 days in advance so i'll select the 8th and i'm going to say 11 a.m here we go it's just selected here i'm going to agree and i am going to submit here we go and it should be ready here we go it's now submitted and these details are now going to be available on job form tables now before we jump over there i'm going to fill it out once more so we preview on job form tables and i'm going to show you how to share this with your patients okay so again i'm going to fill it out and i'm just going to change the details here really quickly here we go i'm going to select and the date and agree okay i'm going to submit this here we go it's now submitted let's head on out of here and we're going to go into publish to show you how you can share this now there's several ways that you can share your doctor's appointment form one is by sharing a link you can go ahead and share this link really easily via your whatsapp number or just sharing it directly by text message it's super easy and you can also do invite by email so sending out this appointment form via email you can also create a qr code specifically for this form so that means that in your reception you can actually print this and have it available there so your patients can scan it and it's really easy for them to create an appointment right there physically also so maybe this could be one of the requirements to make an appointment so do so even if you are physically at the reception do an appointment via this app okay we're going to go back there's also options for sharing it via social media 
And there's also a way to embed this form on your website. It could be any CMS, WordPress, Wix that allows HTML to be added over there. So it's a great way to publish it and share it with your patients. Now, once you're good to go, now you've received appointments, you'll get notifications, and those will be over here in settings in the emails. So in emails, you'll decide who is going to receive these notifications. Now, in this case, there's a template that's pre-built here, which is the email subject, and it's going to grab the title and the name, the name of the patient in this case, but you can also use more fields available from the form. So for example, I can add the field right here. I'll add another dash and I'll add the field right here, which is for which department would you like to get in touch, okay? So in the title of the email, I have all this information at a glance, okay? And then we have the email content with all the details. I can go ahead and remove the logo, change it. I can change the form title here. And again, these are all using form fields, but I have all these available tools to beautify or make more productive the details of the email, okay? Then we have the recipients. Who is going to receive these emails? In this case, the sender name is job form, reply to email, so the same email, and the recipient's email. You can add up to 10 emails available here, so you can send it to your assistant, to your receptionist, to the doctor, etc., and they'll all receive this email with someone requesting an appointment, okay? And then you have the advanced options available here. Same thing goes for the autoresponder. So that means that this is the email that the patient is going to receive. Again, they have the details available here. You can change the subject, add more fields from the form fields, and beautify the actual email content right here. And again, the recipients, the email is gonna be the default one. That's the email that they've added on the form, okay? So once you have all that ready, you receive the appointments and you want to preview them. Well, those will be available in job form tables. So we're gonna head on over to tables and we'll be able to view every single one of these appointments and we'll have a history of every single patient that made an appointment. And the good thing about this is that there's filters available for this. For example, if you wanna preview the latest ones, well, there's filters for everything. For example, all the submissions, unread, read, start, etc. from all time, from today, from last three days. For example, if I select this filter, it's going to filter out really easily everything. So I'll apply the filter. In this case, these are appointments that we just made, so we're gonna be able to view both of them. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to filter these out. Now you can go ahead and clear the filters out. You can just go type a filter here. So if someone calls you up and says, hey, you know what, I need an appointment and you know if they've made an appointment before, we can just search for the name really easily here and we're able to preview them, okay? Now each one of these submissions will have every single detail that was filled out on the form. So it helps you be more organized and have a way for you to preview the history of your patients. Now, if you need to modify something here, you can do so by clicking in on each one of these elements. That means that if someone called you up and they said, you know what, I put the wrong phone number, well, you can just update it right here really easily. And if you want to have a different type of view for your patients, you can create a new tab. And for example, I'll show you the card view. Let's hit next from the form, connect to form. And I'm gonna select this form right now, which is the online doctor's appointment form. I'll click next. And then I can select what elements I want to preview with this card, okay? So I just wanna preview at a glance, the name, date of birth, gender, and phone number, address, and email. So we don't want to preview all the information, just this, okay? So I'll go ahead and create this. And now we have available the card view with the elements that we want to preview at a glance. So not every single detail about, about the submission, just the details that we find important to view at a glance, okay? So if I just need to find someone and view their email or their phone number, I'm able to do so really easily right here. Now, I showed you how to get to job form tables from the actual form, but you can also do this from the dashboard. So if we go back to job form, find the form, which is this one right here, I can go to more, submissions, and again, it'll take us to job form, tables, and we're able to view each one of these submissions. So that's how easy it is to create a doctor's appointment form with job form. This is going to make you way more professional. Your patients are gonna really like it because it's gonna be super easy to make an appointment with you. Now, please let us know here in the comments what you think about the doctor's appointment form and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.